Hello, everybody. The biosphere there of uh, Montreal, set up in the 1967 Expo, dominates the skyline of this wonderful city. It's a beautiful afternoon here in Montreal. And when Lewis Hamilton opened his hotel room door this morning, he will have seen his own face staring up at him from the front pages of the Canadian newspapers. But if he wins this race this afternoon, I think he'll be front page news all over the world. So can he do it? Can Lewis Hamilton convert his first pole position into that first victory? You bet he can. He's certainly more than capable, but there are a lot of traps and pitfalls lying in wait for him over the next 70 laps. It's a different kind of circuit, obviously, from Monte Carlo, where McLaren felt they needed to control the situation between their drivers. But it's very similar in one key respect. It's an easy race to lose. The harder you push here at Montreal on a circuit where it's only used once or twice a year and the offline is treacherously slippery, the harder you push, the more likely you are to hit the wall. And because we get cars hitting the wall here with some regularity and they're difficult to get out of the racetrack, we often get safety cars and they can play havoc with your race strategy. A 10 second lead can quickly be converted to nothing. Today then boils down to a battle of nerve really, and a battle of cunning between Hamilton and Alonso. It's not ideal for either man to have to race against his own teammate, both of them would prefer to be sitting alongside a Ferrari driver on the grid. And uh, well, it'll be certainly interesting to see if Lewis, with such a posse of Grand Prix winners behind him, and uh, of course the double world champion, uh, can he keep it out of the wall, keep his head? It's going to be some pr supremely impressive if he does. They push the cars back a bit, switch off the traction control, and lay a line of rubber down, and uh, that, that's why they just move them back off the line. Uh, just to give themselves slightly better grip away from the start itself. Capacity, 110,000 crowd here. No Jacques Villeneuve on the grid, the Canadian local hero of the last few years, but it's, it's not put the Canadians off at all. They've turned out in their numbers throughout the weekend. A very impressive spectacle. Tremendous support for Formula One in this part of the world. There's the two contenders this afternoon. Alonso slow away, as he? No, he hasn't stalled it. He uh, gets going, so does Heidfeld. And I think psychologically, Martin, it's a very, very interesting battle between these two drivers. Alonso can't afford, given how close Hamilton has been to him all season or anyway, with no experience, he can't afford to let him have that extra boost of confidence that a first victory would give him, because he wants to keep him in his box, doesn't he? And keep him in his place. And, and if Lewis was unleashed, I, I, I think he might feel that he might become uncontrollable for Alonso. Absolutely, and of course, next race, next weekend, Alonso traditionally has struggled at Indianapolis, so he needs to keep uh, Lewis in check this afternoon. If we're right, we think that Alonso has about two laps more fuel than Lewis Hamilton. That's the story. Uh, that's the man I was drinking tequila shots with last night, and I've got a headache, and I hope he has too. And uh, if, if we're right, then all Alonso's got to do is just stay close to Lewis, uh, through the early stages and then just put the hammer down during the two laps he could stay out a little bit longer to seize the high ground and of course it's the reverse roll reversal exactly of uh, of Monte Carlo isn't it there's a car down there on the oh, no, it's just equipment there's so much equipment still making its way off the grid as they're around the back of the circuit on the warm-up lap well, certainly pit tactics will be an important part of the game. We're expecting two refueling and tyre stops here this afternoon. And they turn them around pretty quickly in Formula One. And with his son, Lewis, on pole position, when the five lights go out, the Canadian Grand Prix will be underway. Go! Alonso's away well. Lewis tries to counter him. And Heidfeld, there's a flag at the back, but it looks like Heidfeld's attacking Hamilton. Alonso goes to the outside as he made it. He's run wide. He's cut the corner. If he takes the advantage, which he can't, he's done what he did in Spain. He's gone for broke, and it's cost him. Alonso loses out. Heidfeld's up in the second place. Alonso drops to third, and he's got a Ferrari nibbling all over the back of him. But Lewis Hamilton leads in Montreal. Yeah, that's a disaster for Alonso. He's now got the BMW ahead of him. And uh, just what Hamilton needs, Alonso way, way too deep into that first corner with the uh, cold front tyres and cold brakes. He was never going to slow down from there. Lewis kept his head. Luckily, when Alonso rejoined the circuit, he was able to uh, miss him.
Well, Jensen Button, I'm afraid, has stalled on the grid, so he's being pushed off as I speak to you. Hamilton leads, Heitfeld is second, Alonso is third, Massa fourth. There is Jensen Button being pushed away. Rosberg up to fifth, Raikkonen is down to sixth, Fisichella up two places to seventh, Kubitz is where he started in eighth, Mark Webber has lost out at the start, he's gone from sixth to ninth place, and Takuma Sato is tenth, as Heike Kovalainen there in the Renault pushes through, and just look at the lead that Lewis Hamilton's established already over Nick Heidfeld, and now Alonso's got to think about how he gets past that BMW, which Martin has been very quick all weekend. Yeah. The story so far then, Hamilton leading from pole position, his teammate Fernando Alonso starting alongside him, did one of his do or die moves into the first corner as we take another look at uh, what caused Scott Speed to break the suspension it was Alex Vert in the Williams colliding with him we've lost Jensen Button as we've heard from uh, Louise as we take another look at that 50-50 uh, into the corner hit the rear wing as well yeah it's not really an overtaking place there the braking distance is too short it's too bumpy on the inside off the racing line anyway and uh, Hamilton, the only man in the 1 minute 16s, he's on lap 11. He's 7.7 7 seconds clear now. And just waltzing away. And does not look like he's punishing the car particularly hard either. Driving beautifully, keeping some margin to the walls. And if anything, it looks like Alonso's the one who's struggling at the moment. He's almost two seconds behind Nick Heidfeld now. Lapping slightly slower than the BMW driver. Just, uh, over four seconds on that lap venture across the grass Hamilton though looking supremely composed no doubt about it driving like a veteran here he comes into this final chicane and there he is again and bang on the same line as he's been our commentary box just behind him those big grey boxes working his way now onto lap 18 two stop strategy here with this afternoon we're expecting the front runners in sometime in the early to mid 20s and uh, we'll see which one of the two McLaren drivers carried the most fuel. We'll see how much more fuel, if any, the Ferraris have got. But uh, at the moment, they're so far behind. Massa, 18 seconds now behind Lewis Hamilton that uh, you'd have to say the threat from them for the overall victory is receding. And Hamilton has this one where he wants it. Yeah, he's not leaving uh, too much to spare on the outside of the corners, though, is he? He's, certainly, he's not coasting, that's a fact. And for the first time, Heidfeld has been slightly faster than Hamilton. But I'm pretty sure Heidfeld's moving now into his pit stop zone and uh, knows he needs to be getting on with it. Eighth is Robert Kubica in the BMW. This is uh, Alonso. Is that the same? He just did that a moment ago. Is that the same one? Oh, it's not. Look, he's let Massa through. So the third time today into turn one Alonso's made a mistake and this time it's really cost him again as Massa has dived through to take that third place that final podium position at the moment what is going on with Fernando Alonso well I do wonder if he damaged the underneath of the car in the first lap but I, I'd be surprised across the grass there not a particularly high curb as a uh, Massa's younger brother there enjoying that moment but Alonso really in with a great danger of losing a lot of points here to to Lewis Hamilton who he's co-leading the world championship with of course Hamilton looking supremely composed on lap 20 10 seconds ahead of Heidfeld Heidfeld getting very near to where we're expecting him in the pit and here he is into the pit lane Lewis Hamilton in the McLaren Leading this Grand Prix, he had a 19-second lead over Felipe Massa's Ferrari and 21 seconds over Alonso at the time of this stop. So theoretically, he might be able to come out, if it's a quick stop, around about where Alonso is. The fuel goes in at 12 litres per second. It would take you just six seconds to fill up a one layer using one of these things. And out he goes. There is Alonso. It's an unusual pit lane here. You feed into the exit of turn two, so you're never quite sure. Oh. But I think he's ended up behind him. You have to be careful, you know, across the white line, but he is in front of Raikkonen, so he's a full pit stop ahead then of everybody down to P5. And uh, he, that, that is beautiful. That's a double yellow weight, so that's somebody off quite big time, I'd imagine. Uh, normally, uh, with a double, has somebody been in the wall on the exit of this chicane? So Lewis Hamilton rejoins in fourth place behind Massa, Alonso and Rosberg. 
They are the top three at the moment, but of course Hamilton has the advantage of uh, having made that stop, so he can sit there and uh, enjoy the moment. But he can... Mark Webber pits from 15th place. Safety car's on. Safety car board is out. What is that for? Well, that's uh, If that's the case, if the safety car is deployed and we're not getting that signal yet, that's really going to cost Lewis Hamilton because yeah. he's, made a, he's made a pit stop under racing conditions. Everyone else is going to get to make one uh, under safety car conditions and save the time. Well, it depends, James, how quickly they close the pit lane because as soon as they're... Well, it's Alonso's the in, they're under the new rules and uh, Alonso, Rosberg and Co are in. They haven't picked up the leader yet. They don't... Uh, let's see we'll wait for the computer to tell us when they close the pit lane oh and that's why we've got Sutil having hit the wall hard at four debris on the track presumably and uh, that car appeared to be cleared out of the way so uh, he's wrestling that thing along the wall and Ted is there absolutely perfect for Alonso they did it they got him in before the pit lane was closed so they did add fuel and change tyres so he's back now that's fantastic timing from McLaren very timely indeed but he's got the hard tyres so no chance of putting on the soft tyres and then coming in and changing them again when the pit lane reopens in just a few laps time well Nico Rosberg did the same thing of course they were circulating uh, very close to each other on the racetrack and I did see them both diving into the pit lane before the signal was given on the computer that safety car has been deployed so we've got a spiker in the wall and where does this leave Lewis Hamilton long way to go 47 laps here in Canada and we've got our safety car when there's a McLaren all locked up there that's Alonso again the race is back on Hamilton comes through to lead he had a 19 second lead before the safety car was deployed that has been reduced to a matter of a few yards he's got to do it all over again Lewis Hamilton but such was his consistency and his composure in the opening stint you wouldn't bet against him being able to do it Heidfeld is in second just as he was at the original start and Alonso is in third place it's exactly the situation we had on the opening lap all three of these cars have made their pit stops obviously Rosberg is gained from it he's fourth Barrichello's fifth Coulthard is sixth seventh is Kovalainen Coulthard has not stopped neither has Barrichello or Kovalainen Alonso under investigation car number 16 under investigation Rosberg that's the two cars we think pitted when they were not allowed to do so it's worked out for Alonso at the moment he's back in the action I think he's going to get a, a stop and go penalty and oh yes he's had an accident very early on and that that was at maximum velocity that I've never seen a car crash like that uh, in this circuit at that place and uh, he's certainly moving his hands about at that point. It's the Toyota he connected with. He took off. Oh, yes. And, and head first into So nearly collected the Toro Rosso of Scott Speed that you would have thought in any normal circumstances would have been well out of the action. And that was a huge impact. And uh, both Alonso and Rosberg have been given a 10 second stop and go penalty. Riding on Bondo with uh, Lewis Hamilton. This race is about to get underway again. And uh, look at the lead he's already got on the safety goal. Heidfeld has uh, been uh, rather recalcitrant at this restart. And Alonso uh, behind him and Hamilton goes. The race is back underway. We're approaching half distance here in Montreal. This is definitely now Lewis Hamilton's race to lose. He's got it under control. He's been the most composed driver out there today. He's had the pace. He was almost 20 seconds in the lead before this round of safety cars uh, interrupted his progress. So he's certainly got the car underneath him. He knows he can win this race. And now he's halfway to that first Grand Prix victory. There he is. Well, he's rewriting the book of what is possible in Formula One. If he can do this after six races, what might he achieve in the future? Lewis Hamilton wins! Surely the first of many for Lewis Hamilton. The world is at his feet. What a drive, what a mega star we've got on our hands with Lewis Hamilton. I can't imagine a more challenging afternoon on a dry racing track anyway. Absolutely sensational, faultless, brilliant performance by Lewis Hamilton. Heidfeld got second. Wurtz on the podium for Williams. Well done to him. Kovalainen in fourth, Raikkonen fifth. And uh, Sato sixth, Alonso seventh. Ralf Schumacher getting the last point for Toyota. And it was never really in doubt. Well done, Lewis. You uh, won that. Fair and square.
and celebrating the 150th podium for the McLaren Mercedes Alliance and scoring his first ever Grand Prix victory for Vodafone McLaren Mercedes, Lewis Hamilton. Lewis, what a day. Four safety cars, <laughs> obviously that big accident with Robert, who we hear is okay now, but what a day for you. It has been a fantastic day. Um, I mean, this is history. I mean, to come here, my first time in Canada, really, um, you know, it's been a fantastic season already. We've had six podiums and I'm ready. I've been ready for quite some time for the win. It was just a matter of when and where. And um, the team gave me the best car. You know, I had no problems during the race at all. A few safety cars, which... Um, it sort of made it a little bit boring at some point but as soon as we got going it was exciting again but um, I did hear about Robert he's a good friend of mine uh, I hope he's okay um, and so best wishes to his family and everything but um, I really I have to dedicate this one to, to my dad because uh, without him this just wouldn't be possible 